Tonight, new efforts to break the cycle of recidivism. Well, we've reported on attempts to get inmates connected to resources outside of jail. And now some are trying to get folks more chances to turn their lives around while on the inside. WCNC Charlotte's Tradisha Woodard has this exclusive look at how officials are seeking solutions. When residents are preparing to leave this detention center, one of the biggest questions asked is what's next? That's why the sheriff is working to give folks a head start while inside these pods. For some, sitting in a cell comes at a price. It hits a lot of people. One that's too expensive to pay. The depression, it, it's in every dorm. A body fighting to survive, a mind trying not to die. Whether guys want to talk about it or not, you know, it, it, it's always there. Sergio Salazar is currently incarcerated. He says the pains of imprisonment can get even worse for inmates looking to re-enter society with fear that the lack of resources will land them right back in a cell. Well, everybody talks about recidivism, uh, but nobody has a solution. Everybody talking about reducing crime, but nobody has a solution. Sheriff McFadden says the detention center is offering inmates a way to restore opportunities, allowing them to become entrepreneurs while sitting in a jail cell. But how about you have your own established licensed company when you leave? That's rare. You have your better credit score, you have better mental health, you have a website, and you have an actual authorized legal LLC. Sergio is just one of the recent grads of the Next Great 50, a program that allows him to dream beyond the four walls. So I decided to go with uh, a dog trading business. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, I broke down. I was like, this is happening. Like, this is really happening. To the system, he's inmate 506136. And then when I got that letter of existence and seeing the name of my business. His name, not a number. I was like, that's it, okay. A new beginning with his two boys watching. I want to show them that no matter in what position, situation you're in, whether it's negative or positive, you always got to look at the silver lining. For Sergio, <laughs> so priceless. Now, there are two classes that are currently in progress and are set to graduate next month. Reporting for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Tradisha Woodard. Well, WCNC Charlotte is always looking to highlight how our community is tackling local problems. Let us know what you're seeing in your neighborhood. You can email us at newstips at WCNC.com.